Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I thought I'll do something slightly different than my normal content. And I have basically done a couple of workout fit ideas over on my channel and you guys seem to enjoy those. So I thought in today's video to share with you everything I take with me in my work bag. So this is basically a video about everything I put in my bag to take to work. <laughs> so if you guys do enjoy these sort of videos, or if you also like hauls and outfit ideas videos i have a bunch of those on my channel i'll put a couple of playlists in the description box down below but make sure you're subscribed and press the bell icon as well so you're notified when a new video goes live and let me show you the bag that i actually take to work and it's the teddy blake ava bag now this video is not sponsored by teddy blake at all but i did work with them in the past a few months ago now and they have very kindly gifted me this bag um but since i've done an unboxing of these i have gotten a couple of messages over on my instagram asking me if i still like this bag what the quality is like um so i thought i'll as part of today's video to also do a bit of a review on the teddy blake bag so i got this bag back in august september time and i have used it so much since then especially for work i just find it the perfect size bag to take to work it looks very stylish but it's also very professional and yeah as i said the size of this is absolutely perfect for me so this is the ava 11 inch in dark gray and before this bag i used to use the michael kors jet set bag and if you guys have seen that bag you will know it's huge i was literally carrying everything for the kitchen sink in there it was getting so messy it was just chaotic and it was so heavy as well so my shoulder was really aching so i knew i wanted to just streamline minimize everything just literally carry with me the absolute necessities so i was really happy to downsize to this bag now as i said this is the 11 inch but Teddy Blake do have bags in different sizes. So they do this in 13 inches and they also do different styles and they go up to 15 inches as well. So yeah, make sure you check their website because they have loads of different bags, lots of different designs as well, and lots of different sizes and colors. Um, but the one I got is the Ava 11 inch, as I said, in dark gray, and I have been loving it. So I have used this bag so many times and its quality is still amazing. I mean, it's got quite a lot of things in it at the minute, but as you guys can see, it looks practically brand new. The handle is still very sturdy. Everything just feels perfect. Like the hardware is just amazing quality, honestly. It's definitely worth the price point. So this is how the bag opens. Um, couldn't recommend it enough. As I said, this video is not sponsored by them, but if you guys are looking to invest in a Teddy Blake or it's Christmas now, so if you want to treat yourself or buy one as a present, I will put like a link to their website in the description box because they have some amazing offers and sales on at the minute. And I also have an extra discount code for you guys as well, which I will put again in the description box. So yeah, that's everything about the bag now let's get inside it and have a look so as i said this is how the back opens i'll just show you again because i really like it so it opens like that and then it's got a clasp which opens like this it's all like soft like suede inside and this is basically what i carry in it i will start off with the zip at the back first so we get that out of the way and in here i basically just add my face masks accessories of 2020 this so i have a black one and then like a nudie beigey pinky one and i always carry two because if you forget one or if you lose one you're literally stuck you can't go anywhere you can't do anything so i always carry two of those and i have to wear one at work as well so yeah two works perfectly fine for me and then i can rotate them and like wash two 
when I'm taking two with me and then just change them um, the next morning. So on the inside, it has three different compartments. So the main compartment, and then a thin um, sleeve at the back and then a zip as well. So first up, I have got this Dr. Popo Original Balm. And if you guys haven't seen this before or heard of it, it's basically a soothing balm. So you can use it for lips, skin, hair, beauty finishing, um, cuticles. It's fragrance-free, cruelty-free. It's honestly amazing. I mainly use this for my lips and it works really, really well. It suits it, it hydrates my lips. It's amazing. But over this, I will always opt for good old Carmex. I use this when I really need to recover my lips really, really quickly. And honestly, I feel like this is like a little miracle product because you can really feel it working as well. And it works so, so quickly. So I can use it in the morning. And then by lunchtime, my lips will feel really healed and really smooth. So I've got Carmex as well in my bag. <laughs> and then the next product I've got is a hand cream so this is by the body shop and it's the vanilla chai hand cream this smells christmas in a tube is honestly amazing um i would say you guys go and smell this but to be honest with you it's a couple of years old uh basically they brought this scent out vanilla chai i think two or three years ago now and i just had to stock up because i absolutely loved it and i only allow myself to use it during christmas time so this is unfortunately my last one i'm running really really low of it uh, but yeah it smells amazing and then the final thing i believe i've got in here yeah is a little bottle of perfume so these little perfumes i got last two years ago now um it was basically a gift set that i got for christmas and it had like five or six of these little bottles of perfumes and these have been perfect take to work so when i want a little top up i can just open it up and it holds a little drop of perfume just right there so you can just dot it on you and oh it makes it smell really really nice and it doesn't weight at all to take it in your bag it's just so tiny it doesn't take any space and it's so so handy so this is everything that i put in the zip compartment inside the bag other than my lip balms i don't really carry much more makeup with me um especially now with wearing face masks for most of the day i don't really find that i need to touch up on my makeup as much so yeah i'm only taking my lip balms with me and i absolutely love using them now i will show you what i put in the small compartment inside the bag and in there i always 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 put my phone i just made it a habit to put my phone at exactly the same spot all the time so i don't panic when i can't find it because i know exactly where it is um so the phone that i've got is the iphone 8 i've had these it's coming on to three years now actually so quite a while but it still works really well i still really really like it i was thinking of changing it with the new year but i haven't really decided yet um what phone i want to get so if you guys have any recommendations just leave me a comment down below and let me know um but what i really like about this one as well is that it's really thin and it's really light so it doesn't weigh much in your bag so another thing I always put in there are some emergency money. So in every bag that I ever own or in any like phone case that I will ever put on my phone, I always put in there some emergency money. So what that is, is basically money that I will never use unless it's an absolute emergency, basically. So I always put either five pounds or 10 pounds. I ended up having both in this bag, not sure why, but touch wood, if anything was to ever happen, if I didn't have my phone, if I didn't have my purse, at least I know I've got this little bit of money to get me home. And I always just fold it like that and literally just put it in the slot in my bag and I feel more secure and safe. Saying that out loud though, if I did lose like my phone and my purse, it probably meant that I also lost my bag with the emergency money in it but i don't want to think about it like that <laughs> it's in there and it just makes me feel more secure knowing that i've got something in there that if anything was to happen 
I can get home. <laughs> then next up in here, I have got a pen, which I never really use, but I like to carry just in case I need to use it. And then I also have some Nurofen with me, just in case you get a headache, you know, you just need to have some medicine with you. <laughs> Now, that's pretty much everything I have got in that little compartment in there. And I will move over to the main part of the bag, which has the most things as well. First up is this key with this massive key ring. Now, I have gotten this key ring, I think this is from Primark quite a few years ago. I got it so I wouldn't lose my keys and it has been working brilliantly so if you guys are anything like me and you always can't find your keys then get a massive key ring on it because you will never lose them again <laughs> so i have my key on it this massive key ring and then this little meerkat key ring which doesn't look the best but i got this from a wildlife um, park and i have been loving it because it really reminds me of my dog as well and then next up i have got my purse so the purse that i am currently using is by dkny absolutely love the color it's such a wintry maroon color um i just carry in here just my cards some extra cash and some change nothing exciting but something that everyone carries with them then i have got my tangle teaser literally don't leave the house without this anymore i didn't use to take a hairbrush with me but since i got this tangle teaser i think last year i got it for christmas um i have been loving it so much it just makes my hair feel so much healthier and i basically carry this in my bag just in case i want to brush my hair look a bit more put together i always have it in there it's really compact as well so again it doesn't take much space so i only have got a couple more things to show you next up is an umbrella of course especially if you live in the uk you guys will know you cannot leave your house without an umbrella because you just literally never know when it will rain <laughs> so i always have one with me this is a massive one as well and it fits perfectly in here and then my final thing and probably the most exciting thing <laughs> is a little snack that i always carry with me so these are the Belvita soft bakes i always have one of these in my bag um i just really like to have this in the morning with a cup of tea whilst i'm sat at my desk and they're just really really yummy these are the blueberry flavor and they are vegan as well if you guys are wondering and this is pretty much everything that i take in my bag to work as you guys saw this bag fits quite a lot and there was a lot more space to fit more items in there if you wanted to so i will put a link in the description box of me unboxing this bag as well in case you guys want to see that and i will also link a couple of work outfit ideas in case you want to get some inspiration on what to wear to work and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new around here as well make sure to hit the subscribe button and have the loveliest day ever and i'll see you soon bye